In this video, we'll go over the procedure for upgrading ICE using the backup and restore method. First, let's explore the different paths available for upgrading ICE. As you can see from this table, version 2.0 upgraded the base operating system from Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Version 2.1 upgraded the Oracle database from version 11G to 12C. Any upgrade from 1.3 or 1.4 will require a two-step upgrade as detailed in the note seen here. Be aware of this bug that affects IS versions 2.1 through 2.3. The bug was fixed in subsequent patches but is still worth noting. Links to the upgrade guides, best practices for upgrades, and this bug announcement are in the video description. Here you can see a description of all the nodes available in ICE. As you can see, every node other than the admin and monitoring nodes are types of policy service nodes. Admin and monitoring nodes have a scaling limit of two each per deployment. The PX Grid subsystem was upgraded in version 2.4 to allow for a maximum of four nodes per deployment. Prior to 2.4, the maximum number of PX Grid nodes was two. All other PSNs are scalable up to a total of 50 PSNs per deployment. Be sure to review the upgrade guide for the version of ICE to which you are upgrading. We will focus on version 2.4 in this video. Download the newest upgrade readiness tool as there is a check for whether the tool is older than 30 days. If you have the newest tool and it's more than 30 days old, you have to press Y to continue later in this script. Run the upgrade readiness tool on the primary admin node, either from the repository or copy the tool to the ICE via CLI and run it. This method can be faster depending on your connection bandwidth. The console window shows the installation from a remote repository. The commands will be in the description text. Once you enter the command, you'll be prompted to say the OS running config. I always choose yes. Simply pressing enter here accepts yes as the default and continues with the upgrade readiness tool. Once the tool runs successfully, take a configuration backup of the system. The name of the backup, repository, and encryption keys are in bold. I'll have the commands and options for the commands in the description text for the video. Press enter to start the backup. Once successfully completed, you'll want to backup all the system logs. You'll notice that through this process, it'll seem to hang at 60%. This is why it copies all the system logs and creates a package, which then copies it to the remote repository. When that finishes, export the internal CA store. You get to the menu by using the command application configure ice. That brings up this menu, which you can then use to back up the store. Choose option 7 to move forward. Once you choose option 7, you can enter in the name of the remote repository and the encryption key. Once the keys have backed up and the process has finished, press 0 to exit this menu. Next, log into the ICE web GUI. Navigate to Administration, System, Deployment. Select the box next to the secondary admin node and click Deregister. This will remove that node from the deployment. Install the new version of ICE onto that node from scratch using the same hostname and IP address it had from the old deployment. This is an important step as using the same host names and IP addresses from all the nodes will allow you to reuse the certificates and will also mean that you do not have to change your network device configurations. Restore the backup of the old deployment to this new node. Check that the certificates exist as you expect them to in the system. If they do not, import the internal CA store in the same manner as you exported it, choosing option 8 this time. Then join this node to Active Directory. This node with a new installation of ICE will become the primary admin node in the new deployment. From there, continue this process with the primary monitoring node. Then we can start with the PSNs, joining each node to Active Directory as you add it into the deployment. If your PSNs are in node groups, you just have to create the node groups in the new deployment and add them to that. Start with the backup PSNs, then the primaries. Do them in the order as they are listed in your network devices. Then move on to the device admin nodes and any other PSN subnode types. This includes PX Grid nodes and SXP nodes. When you're done with that, the secondary monitoring node is next. 
followed by the last node, the primary admin node, which will become the secondary admin node in the new deployment. Once you have all the nodes in your new deployment, you can rehost the licenses. You will need the UDI information from the administration system licensing page to do so. The link with instructions for rehosting the licenses is in the video description. Now is the time that if you want, you can swap the secondary and primary admin nodes so that the same host name and IP address that was the primary admin for the old deployment is also the primary for the new deployment. This will cause service interruption, so please ensure that this is done in a maintenance window. To do this, shut down the primary admin node by using the following command in CLI, application stop ISE. Press enter to save the ADEOS, then press Y to continue. Once that is complete, type halt and press enter. While this node shuts down, log into the web GUI for the secondary admin node and navigate to administration system deployment. Click the host name of the secondary admin node. On the next screen, click the make primary button. Once the node restarts and you can log in, power on the node that was the primary. It will come up and see that the newly promoted node is primary and then set itself as secondary. Congratulations, your ICE upgrade is complete using a backup and restore method.